Middle School, I'm Dylan. As you can see, our second anchor is on vacation and will be back next week. Welcome to the AMS TV News for the week of May 23rd. Let's check out today's positive message. Hi, I'm Brendan. Today's positive message was said by John F. Kennedy in his inaugural address on Friday, January 20th, 1961. My fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Don't forget about the Writer's Workshop run by Mrs. Riley. If you want to improve your writing skills, join the workshop. It takes place every Monday from 2.45 to 4 until June 6th. Last week, 8th graders took a field trip to the Adventure Park. Let's take a look. Wow, that looks like a lot of fun. This Friday is Spirit Day. Please wear your AMS Spirit Wear or school colors. Last week, the Suffolk County Police Department treated students and staff to a K-9 presentation here at AMS. Let's check it out. Thank you for having us. Uh, we appreciate Police Appreciation Week. Um, a lot of times uh, people don't see us for what we are behind this uniform and behind this badge. So as many of you know, I'm Abby Sacco's dad. So, <laughs> so I'm a dad, just like you guys have parents at home. Okay, I'm a brother, uh, I'm a husband. Uh, so we're normal people that do a job out on the street and our main job is to keep you guys safe. Uh, with that, uh, before we even get started, I'm going to introduce the first gentleman. Yeah. This, that's John Morris. He's uh, from the Riverhead Police Department. Next is Chris. He's also from Riverhead. The third is Keith Minotti. He's the head trainer for Canine. The, the beautiful young lady that we have with us, that's Jen Moody. And the last gentleman, but not least, that's Brian Lawrence. So, so all of our dogs that we get for the canine unit, they all come what we call a green dog. So they're completely untrained. They're all from Europe. So my dog is from the Netherlands. We have some dogs from Hungary. Uh, the reason why we get all of our dogs from Europe and not a shelter, like uh, somebody mentioned, is because their bloodlines are from military and police working um, So the basic training right off the bat, we do the bonding, then we start off with basic obedience. But my dog will do anything for this ball on a rope. So sometimes when I have to reward him, this is what he gets when we're in a real life deployment. Otherwise, in training purposes, he always gets a toy. This is one of his favorite then toys. Then we'll train him in uh, agility. We'll teach them how to go through things, how to go over things. First time on a real deployment of utilizing my dog to find somebody that might be looking to hurt me is not the first time I want him to jump through a window, right? He has to know how to do these things. And what do you think physically happens to a person when they're scared or hiding from the police? They sweat. You know? So a lot of scent comes off them, and that is what our dogs pick up a lot of the right. scent. The first thing we're going to do when I get to a building or I go to an area search is I make announcements. Because guess what? I have to go to court for everything I do. 
So I'll say, Suffolk County Police K-9, come out and send a dog. He will bite you. So I give them a fair verbal warning, and I'll do that two, three times if I have ample opportunity. So 95% of the time, when I'm searching a building or, or whatnot, I might hear, uh, I'm hiding in here, you know, don't send the dog, I don't want to get bit. Um, our dogs are trained to protect us, we call that criminal apprehension. Um, if somebody tries to attack me or another police officer, or when they get up running, uh, the dog's going to bite them. So with that said, this is Officer Brian Lawrence here with Rafi. And he's showing you basic obedience. with Officer Moody here. has a canine dog and Southampton Village has a police dog. All of our dogs train together, we work together uh, on a regular basis. So watch Bosco, all right, we're gonna send him out to find those articles that the young ladies helped us put out. Watch his body language, watch how he changes his demeanor when he gets to Teach them that the value of human odor, um, and, and that's what Bosco's looking for now. Um, we'll do training stuff where we'll put an article out amongst a bunch of garbage and the garbage has been there for a while but the dog is going to indicate to the article that has the most recent human odor on it. You can Training kicks in, and that's when the fight really is on. But um, so the takeaway to today is 
we appreciate you guys taking the time to appreciate us. Thank you for that. Thank you to your staff. Uh, the custodians always do a great job uh, setting up for us. The security guards are always great with us, uh, allowing us to come onto the property. So how about a round of applause for your You guys have a good time? Yeah! One big round of applause from Officer Sack and his colleagues. It is Police Appreciation Week, but I think it's particularly important for each of you to have a positive first impression if you do not have someone in your family, a loved one, that is in law enforcement. The first time that you have to call 911, the first time that you are interacting with a community helper, whether it be fire, police, EMS, it's important that today is the first impression, a positive impression where you have a good experience because the problem is the next time it may be one of your worst days. And today hopefully it was a great day, but understand, as Officer Sackle said, they're parents as well, they're here to help, and they want to make our community better. So very fortunate to have Wow, that was cool. Thanks to the police officers who volunteered their time. This coming Monday is Memorial Day. This is a day to honor the men and women who died in service to our country. The following video obtained through our subscription with Discovery Education explains how Memorial Day came to be. On the last Monday in May, citizens around the United States observe Memorial Day. This holiday commemorates persons who sacrificed their lives serving in the armed forces. Memorial Day is not to be confused with Veterans Day, which each November honors all past members of the armed forces. For many Americans, the long Memorial Day weekend also kicks off the unofficial beginning of summer. The origins of Memorial Day date back to the mid 1860s, when the American Civil War was nearing its end. By that time, hundreds of thousands of soldiers had died in battle. The high number of casualties meant that most families in America had lost a loved one to the war. As an act of commemoration, people around the country began decorating the graves of their lost loved ones with flowers. For this reason, the observance was originally named Decoration Day. Several places across the United States, including towns in Pennsylvania, South Carolina, and Mississippi, claimed to be the birthplace of the observance. The act of laying flowers on soldiers' graves began spontaneously throughout the country during the years of 1864 and 1865. Then, in May of 1866, the city of Waterloo, New York, organized the first official memorial service. Across all states, the act of laying flowers on the graves of fallen soldiers quickly turned into a ceremonial tradition. That was very interesting. Be sure to attend the Memorial Day Parade on Monday, May 30th. The AMS band will be marching. The parade begins at 10 a.m. and will run along Lake Avenue in St. James. The AMS TV News would also like to thank Ms. Commando for sharing her video footage of Beauty and the Beast Jr. Some of the footage was used to create the highlights shown in last week's news. We really appreciate her help with this. That's all for now. Thanks for watching the AMS TV News. Have a great week and enjoy the upcoming Memorial Day weekend.